All right, if my notes are to be believed, this episode should be the start of opening five, which you guys know me when it comes to Black Clover openings. That just makes me a happy man. What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with Black Clover, episode 52. This one's called Whoever's Strongest Wins. Um, last episode, we ended off with the Golden Dawn saving Kitten from the Diamond Invasion. You know popping off uh william joining in the fight we have langris there we have klaus everyone's popping off but uh shouts out to two specific comments one letting me know that sylph is the name of the actual like race or species of like wind spirit slash fairies so bell is just her name but she is a sylph which okay understandable thank you so much and then shouts out to whoever reminded me that uh, when i was so shocked at what william's magic is at the end i completely had forgotten that we'd actually already seen william's magic uh episode four i went back and rewatched that scene where he would created the brooms for us to practice while they're flying on during the exam so he has some sort of wood magic i'm so curious to know more about that especially with how it relates to licked because licked is light magic and then yami wants to come to investigate william because he has you know i'm so curious what's going on with that um and just i'm just i'm just not gonna waste any more time i say we hop right on in this episode now, for those of you guys that do not know, with the first and last episode of every season of every anime we watch here on the channel, the full length, which is normally a tier on Patreon available to you guys, is available for free for everyone. This show doesn't really have seasons, so we do it with the first and last episode of every opening. So this episode does count. Click that link for that Patreon full length. If you guys enjoy that format, want to consider keeping that for the future, or just consider checking out that Patreon, you know? Subscribe to the channel if you guys are not. Click that bell so you guys always know exactly when I post. Don't forget to follow me on all my social medias, Instagram, Twitter, and twitch at dapper darius um, but let's hop right on into this black clover episode 52 whoever's strongest wins this is exactly where we left off oh you guys got to realize it's been months since i've seen this the first time so i completely forgot about this oh i've definitely heard this song this is a banger Ooh, Mars and uh, fucking Fauna. Bro, with context, these openings are so much fucking better. I mean, they're fucking amazing, don't get me wrong, but... Oh, we're gonna get so much Vanessa, and I love it. Let's get more. Oh, I love that end shot. Okay, I'm hyped. He has, like, red clay armor. That's cool. Wait a minute, swift white bow? We just sent our own arrows right back. Four leave clover, you know, my man. Much stronger. Those were uh, tree branches, William? His typical attack from Klaus, Spiral Lance. Sand. Alidora Sandler was his name, right? I forgot Glass Guy's name. I have them all written down, though. Mimosa, my girl. What is this? What kind of magic coming from Yagos, right? Slime, mucus snail. I hate mucus, so oh, that'd be so horrible. Yo, imagine being caught in a bubble of slime. Blech. That Langris, I wanted to see him in action very much. Yep. His spatial magic is very attack heavy, I remember. Oh, I didn't even realize his arm was gone. Oh my god, Langris. That's how he's grown up his whole life. His parents, don't worry, they'll rebuild that for you. 
の根みたいなのがやたら広がっているだけさ。That's what I would assume. I was like, what is this, Naruto? What is this, Hashirama? Relax. Are the. Oh, they're like sapping the magic from other people to continuously grow? <laughs> they're still arguing? Jesus. I probably would. The great tree shall now bloom. Oh no, it's literally like wood style ninjutsu. This is literally Naruto, even though I know you guys hate when I compare it to Naruto. I don't say that in a bad way at all, only in the best possible way. He's like making the fucking Deku tree from Zelda. This thing is ginormous. <laughs> As the shadows cover his whole world, great mistletine tree, mistletine. Uh huh. Yeah, that would be me. Like, what the hell? Yeah, Yami's got to do a little investigating. Especially when it comes to Captain Shiny. So he used it all. Yeah, probably absorbed so much to even create that. That's crazy. That's super strong too because it uses a lot of their magic, not even his. No way my man just dropped on this guy. <laughs> He's pointing with his feet. Hell yeah, look at these. Rescue team, I like it. It's uh, Charmy's meal saving prince. Yuno and Lagos popping off. Ooh, I love how they're both on their own little birds too. <laughs> Ooh, see, I love the two birds. This is a different type of magic fight than I ever thought I would see. Ooh, okay, with the fucking moves. Ooh. That, like, lance he has of pure lightning is so cool. But Asa is not letting him recover whatsoever. He's always on the attack. Okay, Mars, chill out there, you know? The great wind fucking. I like the title. I like the call to the title, but oh my god, this man. He said so beautiful. That was fucking sick. You know? <laughs> Watch yourself, you know. Watch yourself now. You didn't see what we just had against Veto. You didn't see that. Yeah, that's the rivalry I know. Finra was more used to the elitist scum in the Golden Dawn, but nah. <laughs> oh, that's actually cute. <laughs> Stop calling him handsome, Finra. We know. Hey, man. Ooh, that cut to Langris. Yeah, that could be him and, and his brother, but it's so such a different, complete relationship, you know. I love that that uh, contrast, though. If only you guys saw what we did against Veto. Oh my God, that'd be so cool. Klaus 
It's crazy where Cloud started and how much he easily became one of my favorites. So kind and considerate. Back to the good shit. Oh my god, he's still getting bigger. I like that. Kind of a mutual respect. No reason for your amazing magic to perish right now. I also like that honor. Diamond soldiers never retreat. So it's a mistletine tree and then the mistletine seed. Interesting. Then Lotus comes out from nowhere. Ooh, then Yami comes in with the saving dark slash. Yes, I do remember. They said that right back in the day. Or Julius remembered him or something, Lotus. That I don't know. Back in his, his smoke tree or smoke car, just books it. Ooh, I love that shot. It's not light magic or anything, right? Don't end. No, what's the time? Don't. Uh, fantastic episode. Enjoy that thoroughly. I'm very much looking forward to this next one I'm about to watch. But I'm still making sure I'm just recording. But um, it was great seeing some old characters, especially in the opening too, with a little, little little sneak peek of what I think might be to come. I'm excited. This was a fantastic opening. I should probably talk about that too in the ending. Both fantastic. Opening, very unique. I love the ending too. Very black and white stylized. Even showed shots of previous episodes just filtered with a black and white like color grade on it and it looked really really cool um but it was great seeing lotus again him remembering that he's you know fought yami young yami which yami's always a badass but related to lotus is mars who i saw in the opening and related to who i think is william vengeance aka licked is fauna so we have some full circle shit that could be coming in relatively soon that i don't know what's gonna how is it how it's going to turn out or what's going to become of it but i know shit is going to hit the fan i know that for sure but with that yami said you know i gotta go investigate a little bit william vengeance you know and when he is you know it's a nice great spot for a conversation can you, you have he said you, your tree magic is amazing it is tree magic right because he's wondering if it's light magic and we still don't know who raya impersonated it could be raya using copy transformation when the copy i don't know i don't know how it all work but it was really cool seeing the tree magic the mistletine tree and then the mistletine seed just two examples of what seemed to be really really unique and really cool magic but so strong and it uses the enemy's magic so i love how he said your magic has made the clover kingdom flourish or nourish or some some shit like that it just sounded so cool the way he said it but it was great seeing you know how strong he is oh my god and klaus and mimosa always love their trio and how they interact with asta asta's amazing i am so excited for this next episode i'm pretty sure i can't waste any more time i'm pretty sure i gotta hop into it so if you guys enjoyed please leave a like let me know your thoughts down below like always if you guys enjoy this free full length want to keep it for the future consider checking out that patreon always is available to you guys i appreciate y'all don't forget to follow me on my social medias instagram twitch and twitter dapper darius have a great day you guys peace out